Right What's up, brother? <laughs> hey, they want you up front so they can brief you on, uh, so you can brief us. Wait, is that legit? Yeah, you're right. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. You guys were talking about yesterday. How you doing, buddy? What's going on, Phenoms? Here's the first video to the series of Battle for LA 4. I'll release one more gameplay video on this event, followed by an impressions and review video of the event and how things went leading up to it. Additionally, I'll also go through a variety of things I had issues with, including circumstances that caught me up doing things I wouldn't normally do. Either way, there's definitely much to go over, so stay tuned for that. Read the description of the video to get more perspective on some of it in advance before that video drops. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments, and if you enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe. It truly helps me out a lot. Hope to see you all on the field very soon. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're going to get around their flank. Go ahead, Joe. Let's go. Okay. If we can manage, if. That two-story building, Crossing. cross the street on the left, BAC. closest to them, okay. BAC. Right, that graffiti wall. That graffiti wall. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I see him. Hey, hey, yeah. That's a far shot, though. All right, go now. I'm gonna go now. Go, go, read the description. I already had issues with my backup gun when pulling up to the event. My primary gun was now acting up and the fix couldn't be performed until I hooked up to a computer. The issue was software related within the Gate Titan MOSFET board. Watch out, I got this guy. Oh, okay. There you go. He's shooting from across the way. He's right here, guys. He's right another. Oh, shit. Got down here. Rick, hey. I drag you. Okay, check upstairs, boys. Check upstairs. Oh, shit. 
shit. Hello. I want, yeah, I want to drag you, but all right. To the first, I'm gonna down. Got another. Here. Yeah, watch this right, okay? I will always advocate for wearing face protection. This guy did take several BBs to the face by teammates and did end up bleeding. It's unfortunate because it's usually never intentional. But if you aren't wearing the face protection, the plausibility of getting badly hurt is especially high when you have the adrenaline of others searing through the roof while playing. So please be mindful and take the time to wear face protection. If not, then accept the risks for what they are and handle them the best you can when going through situations like this. Swivel. You got left, right, Nick? Are you down? The red guy standing right there with his back to us. See him? Is that is he alive? Let's find out. Yeah, he's dead. Dead now. <laughs> I think the one play then, because this is not. This building, you can't do anything with it. This this, pro this broken one. We need to push across. The I think we're gonna go across the street right. at this point because they have. Sorry, man. All right, ready? Yeah. Yeah, right. Enemies over there. Go, 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 go. Where are you going? All the way around, across the street, straight across. Go. I got it. Yep. You guys okay? Yeah, easy. Nobody in. Okay. Hey, hey. Uh, what's up? Right on this side. Yeah. Okay. Game on! He got fucked up. Go, 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 go. That guy through that window is gone. <laughs>
I let your homeboy right up in the dick on accident. That's just. Fucking going out, man. What am I gonna do to you? You're gonna eat my ass? Do you want me to touch you? Go up against that guy. One on one. Meat monkey. He came out like that at birth, dude. Putting it somewhere? Oh, Billy? Okay. Keep going! Give it up! Hey, top windows. Watch it with top windows. Oh, the sun, the sun's in my eyes, dude. Oh, hey. oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Okay. Over here. Dude, I hit you like right here. I saw you go around the corner. Hit you in the arm, and you look that way. Not me. No. It's possible that he didn't feel the shots on his shoulder, but these circumstances, I typically don't take those trade eliminations, especially when it's clear eliminations on one side. I just came out. I know. Both when you. Right now. You're both I didn't go that way. Bro, right you here. pointed this way, looking at him. I was already here looking at you. I saw oh, the back no, of your arm. I know you're good. You're good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We, we didn't trade, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, just watch top left window, okay? Yeah, go! Three of them out. No, I got three of them. Yeah. Hold on. Are you sure those are enemy? Yeah. Oh, shit. Where? Right here, straight across from the hallway. That man walking. That man. That man. That man. This is gonna be crazy, ballsy. We most likely will die, but that's okay. Don't know, you see when you see it. They're shooting over here from the right. To the right side? Yeah. 
Okay, they're there. All right, Cody, I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh. Medic, can you medic me real quick? Four fucking five times right here when I'm already out. Here's a little tip for you. If you have someone's back to you through a murder hole that you can clearly see through, I have my opinions of murder holes and whether or not you can shoot through them, but forget it. Let's say you can shoot through this and as annoying as it is, let's just be cool with it for this scenario. This murder hole is large enough for you to visually have sight picture of who the hell is on the other side. Now, I clearly get eliminated and stay in place with my back towards that hole. Let's assume the player doesn't know I'm hit and still thinks I'm in play. I fully accept the engagement distance and understand that there isn't one unless you are using particular class types. Fine. However, what I'm not cool with is the lack of common sense someone can have when the back of a player that isn't moving is within five feet of your muzzle and you shoot continuously. I get shooting once, twice, three times even. Shoot, let's just say it was one burst at my back. Fine, as it may suck, I get it. But no, this guy puts at least 10 rounds in the back of my head and neck. Don't be that person. Have a little more common sense and be considerate on how you engage that person in front of you. In these events, where there isn't minimum engagements, take the shot if you're permitted to, but be considerate because the result may not be something you're willing to deal with. Luckily for me, there was a ref that saw it all go down and was there to mediate the encounter. <laughs> <laughs> 